Hi everyone, this is Chelsea with Scott Lori Marketing. Today's tip video is how to create a Facebook and Instagram traffic ad by recruiting agents or branding with a single image. So before we get started, I do ju just want to mention that this is a traffic ad, which means it is not utilizing the Facebook lead form to capture leads. It is going to rely on the destination website or the landing page that you are going to enter to capture the leads. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, in just a few minutes. So because this is not a lead capture ad, but it is a traffic ad, just keep in mind that there's no lead settings and leads are not going to pull directly into your uh, command from the ad. So the leads are going to go to either your website or your landing page, uh, whatever the destination is that you choose. So just wanted to um, give that little disclaimer before we move forward. So once you get logged into command, the first thing we're going to look at is our name up here. So if you are on a team and you have either uh, enhanced or unlimited permissions, just make sure that if you are wanting to run the ad in your team command account, just make sure that you are actually in your team account up here and not your personal account, just so that it's going to the right account. All right, so once you have determined that you are in the right account, we're gonna go over to the left side, click on our campaigns. And once we get into our campaign dashboard, we're gonna go over and click on paid ad quick start. Once we are in here, um, just in case if you do not see the screen, we're gonna click on dashboard on the left-hand side. It's going to bring up all of our quick start options. And then we are going to click on the recruit agents slash branding with a single image. All right, so once we click on that, it is going to open up the editor for us to start creating um, this campaign. So the first thing we're going to see is our Facebook page up at the top. If we click on this drop down, you're going to want to make sure that the Facebook page is connected that you would like uh, to be connected for this campaign. If you do want to add a new one um, that is not listed here, you can click on the link new page. This is going to bring you out into the integrations to relink that uh, Facebook page so that it could be added here. So once you are all set with your Facebook page, we are going to move down to our targeting. So in our targeting, here you either have the option to choose a postal code or a city. And you can do that by just typing in whatever that is. On the right hand side, you do have the option to change the radius. And you can do that by just dragging and you'll see that the amount of miles is going up. So you can choose whatever you want there. Then you also have the option to target my database. So this is going to uh, pull contacts that are already in your database in the ad targeting. So if you turn that on, from there, it will bring up this audience tag box that is required. And from there, you'll go ahead and select all of the tags that you want associated with this campaign. Once you have determined your targeting, we're gonna go, actually, let me just put something in here so we can move forward with, there we go. All right, next is our text box. So here is where you are able to edit the body of the text for the campaign. You do have a uh, character limit of 255 characters. So just keep that in mind when you are um, changing that. You also have the option to change up the header. And you will notice that as you change it, it is going to automatically update our preview on this right side. So you can see that the text is changing.
All right. And then below that, uh, we have our image. So we are able to select our image that we would like displayed for our ad. Once you are all good with that, next is our destination URL. So from here, this is where, this is what we were talking about earlier. This is where your leads are going to um, end up when they click on this campaign. So here you have the option to either choose whether they are going to go to a URL, such as like a specific page on your website, or if they're going to a landing page that you have created through command. So if you're choosing a landing page, you're going to see this drop down. And from there, you are able to choose whichever landing page you would like. So when someone clicks on this link, they are going to be brought to this land, uh, this landing page. If you do choose the URL option, you'll just have to go and put in the URL. It will update that over here, and then you'll be able to preview the URL. That way that you can verify that it is linking to the correct page. We'll just go back to our landing page. There we go. Oops. All right. Next is our compliance. So if you have any compliance pieces that you need uh, to have in your campaign, you could do so here. So you can leave it um, either in a default status or you can uh, choose custom. If you choose custom, it will have you select the image from your library. We'll just put it back on default. And then the other thing that you have the option is to include your ownership statement. So you can either include that or not include that. And any compliance pieces, uh, we suggest that you do reach out to your market center just to make sure that you are all set there. So once you are all good with this, we're going to click on proceed. Oh, it looks like I have to add some stuff. Let's see. All right, we're going to add this. And we're going to proceed to the last step. So once we get to our next page, this is going to um, have us select the duration. So we're going to uh, change the start date and the end date. This is going to tell you the time frame of the ad. And now you do have the ability to create and publish the ad on the same day. So you no longer have to wait until the next day for the ad to start running like you may have had to uh, wait previously. And then one other thing to keep in mind is that the ad will have to be approved by Facebook. So just keep in mind that it can take anywhere from an hour to up to 24 hours for the ad to publish just based off of the connection with Facebook. All right, so once you have that duration set, we're gonna move down to budget. So in the budget section, you're just gonna enter the budget that you want to spend on your ad campaign. You can either change the amount right from here by clicking in the box and manually entering your budget, or you can go to the um, slider below it and you can just drag and drop until you get to that budget that you are looking for. And as you see these numbers, the uh, budget change, you're gonna notice that the daily spend number changes also. This number is changing based on the duration of your campaign. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, moving down, we have our billing. So here is where you're going to put your credit card information um, or select the credit card if you do happen to already have it in there. You do also have the option to enter a promotional code if you have one. And you can enter that by clicking on the uh, pencil icon right here, which will allow you to edit. All right, at the top right, we have our order summary section. From here, you do have the option to uh, click on this edit option. 
you can then rename the ad. So if we do that, you can change the program name here for whatever you would like it to be. If you wanted to have a the date, that way you can keep track. Scrolling back down, once you are ready, you'll go ahead and click purchase now uh, below the billing section and it will start your campaign. So that's all that we have today for our tip video. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.